Good morning, everyone. We are back here at the unit. We have another What's Old video for you guys. <laughs> and we've done a little bit of work this morning. You can kind of see we brought a couple of these old shelves. These were the shelves that we used to use before I built all these shelves. And we used to just pile shoes on top of them, not even in the <laughs> Yeah, they were, they were just piled almost yeah. like a Goodwill. And um, very poorly. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was mostly doing kids shoes. So like I could fit like a few pairs, but yeah, stacked was, on top of bad. each other <laughs> stuff was falling off, but you can see why I kind of built other shelves too. Cause you know, this shelf takes up quite a bit of space and it can only hold those eight boxes. Whereas here, you know, we could fit almost, uh, I don't know what 12 boxes, 15 boxes in that same yeah. space. So yeah, a lot more <laughs> consolidated. Um, but we're gonna, we've gotten all the boxes up off the floor, which was we're just kind of- gonna, Those are just my personal clothes that I didn't want to store at our house. But now yeah. that we took these out of our trailer, I think we can just put those in there until I can list them. Yeah, it's that's all stuff that's going back not to- Not a priority since it's not like profitable. And I'll show you guys a little bit later. I've been getting the floor um, almost done. I've got the closet. I have to sand the floor. That was one of the biggest problems with the flooring project is the floor is so rough. I've had to hand sand or like, you know, orbital sand the entire subfloor before I even put the flooring down. So I'll show you guys where we're at there. Uh, I'm almost done. I should be able to lay the last of the floor today as long as we get out of here <laughs> at a decent time. I'm so excited for that. Let me set these. I actually yeah. had two sales come in on the way. So let me, I just type them in my okay. phone so CX. We'll pull those ones first, but yeah, as soon as I get the flooring done, I'll be able to finish up these these existing shelves and then maybe, I don't know, we were talking about building, just continuing the yeah, shelf yeah. all the way down, right? So that's fit, what, another probably five times five down? Okay. Yeah. Another 25 bucks. Yeah, and then, and then we'll probably end up doing something down the middle here. I have to, yeah, because I, I you want to hold 2,000 items in here, right? That's your kind of goal. Essentially, that was what I wanted to be at by the end of the year, which I might not even be able to get that with when I'm listing versus when I'm selling. But yeah, yeah 2,000 is kind of like my sweet spot that I'm trying to hit. Right. So I uh, saw so this mar marmot dress. Marmot. <laughs> uh, bought for $3.99, sold for $20 on Posh. Oh, it's a dress. Yeah. That's cool. And then EL. Yeah, yeah, we're all out of sorts right now, so... Uh, Let me change places on you, so. Yeah, these I bought recently for $12.99 and accepted a $40 offer on Posh. Some Salomon sneakers. All right. Okay, AI. Smell Nike baby shoes, bought for $3.99, sold for $20. Was it plus shipping? No, discount shipping. My writing is okay. bad again. <laughs> uh, I was like, it looks like DS, but I thought this person offered no. They accepted the Posh VA offer that went out. So $20 with discount shipping. So Okay. Yeah. So yeah, anytime Kathy does say that it's sold with discount shipping, that's through Posh VA, which is a, a bot that we use on Poshmark and pretty much makes Poshmark yeah. um, <laughs> carefree. Like we just kind of listed there with List Perfectly. And My favorite part is when I... Like I don't like scroll my feed really anymore, so I yeah. don't see when people are declining me because that that always hurts my feelings a little. <laughs> no, I don't have to look. So yeah, Posture VA does just automatically uh, what, uh, reply with offer with every like. So yeah. that's what the discount yeah. shipping is. There's a link down in our description if you're interested in checking it out. I uh, sold these Quicksilver Waterman pants, bought for ten dollars retail arbitrage, sold for twenty nine thirty six plus ship. I have one left. I think I had four to begin with, so this is. The third to sell, they've all been selling between $30 to $40, so that was a nice little pickup. Cool. All right, I got a bundle. Well, this buyer bought two things on eBay. They didn't say they were viewer, but I want to say they might be. Kayla, thank you if you are. Okay. Uh, so, EN. <laughs> Where's it at? There it is, <laughs> down yeah. there. It's funny, I know this is very organized, <laughs> but it still feels very unorganized to us, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Where are you at? All right, so some Reebok men's slide sandals. And Earth Spirit flip flop. Uh, total sold for, for both was $43.96 plus shipping. I had eight into the flip flops, six into the slide, so. About thirteen ninety eight into forty three ninety six. Sweet. Again, Kayla, if you do happen yeah. to be a viewer, we appreciate I just that support. They buy two items. They yeah. They are. 
I think it's a fairly safe assumption. Obviously not always, but. They sold really fast. I was not worried. I knew they'd sell eventually, but they're men's 15. So that's just one of those ones that might sell fast, might take forever. Yeah. But these sold in like a day of being listed. Cool. I just picked these up last week for $16.99 and then they sold for $63.44 plus ship. So just a nice keen leather hiking shoe. Really good shape. They don't look like they've been worn, so. Very nice. Yeah. Love the quick sales. Storage three. Oh, that's this bin that we didn't put away yet. Oh yeah, this is a bin that we have to put away still, and we're Last full video, on our boxes. We, yeah, ran out of spots to put anything. So we have made some more banker boxes since yep. then, but I forgot to bring any empty ones here today. So hopefully when we're done here, we'll be able to put all that away yeah, where we're taking things out today. Uh, so these Skechers slip in, so that was interesting. I think these like are the kind of shoe that you can like step into them without. Oh, and like the back pops up yeah, kind of thing. So okay. it doesn't like get all crunched. So anyways, I thought these were cool and I thought they'd sell fast for that reason. Uh, bought for $9.99, sold for $29.36 plus ship. Cool. Really fast. <laughs> cold again <laughs> it's not as cold as it is outside outside is cold yeah there's a little snow action going on outside um so some silver suki these are like a cropped jean bought at the bin so 281 cost of goods this day into i accepted a 15 dollar offer on poshmark cool yeah. all right dx Hmm. Any minute, it's up there. <laughs> <laughs> Found it. <laughs> it's like I spy. Okay. I found the loose trading co men's, like a swim trunk. Bought from the bins during bins miss, I think, for $1.61 and sold for $14 on Posh. That was an offer I accepted. All the A's and B's, we know <laughs> where they are. Mm. It tripped me because I was like, these are like a burgundy or a purple. I knew that they were, but I was only seeing the blue. So oh. in the box, I'm like, did I pick the wrong one? Did I sell the wrong ones? No, these are the right ones. I'm pretty sure <laughs> you'll see the screenshot. So hopefully they match. <laughs> um, yeah, so these Salamons I bought for $12.99 and sold for $40 plus shipping. I believe these sold on Mercari. Okay. Okay, box O. Box O. So some Zara sandals. Nice, nice leather to slip on. Bought for $7.99, sold for $28 plus shipping. Jane with like the slip resistant bottoms bought for $8.99 sold for $29.36 plus ship these are women's 12 so I was like I don't know these might take a while to sell but they actually sold pretty quickly okay okay box of B this was just something I'm so happy sold because I've had this for probably like <laughs> four years honestly oh wow uh, what is it I think this is it you don't recognize it anymore? I mean, it's just a pair of black <laughs> leggings. Oh. <laughs> Oops. All right, that's gotta be this. Um, it's a pair of Victoria's Secret, like, cropped leggings I got mm. from the bins forever ago. I took them to Play-Dohs. I think I even took them to JBF sales when I was doing that and put them in, like, the youth section. Um, I've tried to sell these a million times. Finally sold them for $5 plus shipping on eBay, so... Hopefully the buyer loves them. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I'm still making a dollar or two profit, but yeah, I just glad I to almost redonated those. It was just going to be more hassle to take them out of the inventory and do that than just leave <laughs> them in there. All right. Uh, so these Clarks for twenty five dollars on Poshmark. Bought them for six oh one. Yeah. Cool. Okay, CB. CB. Stitcher. Uh, like a men's camo sneaker, bought for $7.99, sold for $31 with discount shipping on Posh. Another Posh or VA sale, nice. Yeah. B. Um, some men's born chucka boots, bought 
bought for $13.29, sold for $47 with discount shipping on Posh. Another Posh VA sale, I guess. Yeah, huh? it's been good. <laughs> nice. a posh sale that someone offered me on these UFOs flip-flops. I bought it for $9.99. These usually, especially being new at Tag, they probably could have sold for close to retail. Mm. They're just like kind of like wonky. <laughs> like it mm. looks like they just got, I don't know, probably from being stored or whatever. Yeah. They just like, which once you put your foot in it, it'll be conform to it. Yeah. Like that. For that reason, I accepted a $35 offer. These probably retail for like 50 to 60 and I probably could have got that if it wasn't all weird, but See, and that probably could have happened like being on display in a window yeah, they were or like something that like that. At Goodwill, so it's not like something that happened yeah. in my care, but who knows? That heat, you know? Yeah. All right. CJ. Somewhere over here. There it is. These <laughs> up like a week ago. I don't know. I pick up some Toms, not all. They have to be in really good shape, which these were. So I did pay eleven forty nine for them, and they sold for thirty one with discount shipping within like a week. So. Okay, those are cool though. Like yeah, little, little embroidery little on them. Embroidery. All right, and then EJ is probably a new shelf. I don't know. So a lot of the newer stuff I'm picking up is selling really fast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is a nice Pendleton flannel. It's Ooh. not like wool or anything, but it's just like a cute. I really liked this colorway. Um, I bought it for $9.99. Sold for $33.56 plus ship in about a week, I would say. That's cool. And I even had like a stain kind of like on the chuck. So. Still sold pretty quick. Oops. Uh oh. Okay, shoe shelf. <laughs> oh, there we go. Nice. These Duluth boots, Duluth Trading Co. boots. Bought for $9.99, sold for $46.16 plus shipping really quickly. Right, one more thing in here. Nice. Okay. If I can get them to separate. <laughs> okay, CG. Some DoorDash bags. Sold the DoorDash bags. Yeah, so A two-pack? Mm -hmm. We got them from the bins on separate days. Yeah. I found one on one day of bins and one on another. I have 251 cost of goods into both. Sold for $20.96 plus shipping, so not too bad. Okay. Yeah, and I guess, what, DoorDash gives drivers a bag? Yeah, they probably get one, maybe one for free, up. yeah. I don't know exactly, but yeah, if you want more or... It's on your own. Yeah, you can buy them from the DoorDash site, but I try to list them a little less on eBay. The sell-through on these on eBay is crazy. Pretty so quick, yeah. People are looking for them if you find them. Um, I learned that tip from Greg, um, Rocky Mountain Resale. Yeah. So cool yeah so that's all that's going out today now this is the what the last two days of sales yeah, right it did not come yesterday okay so um so let's get that stuff home to pack them up and then i'll just show you guys our office is kind of a mess i know kathy's kind of <laughs> <laughs> it's a disaster right now but i just want to show you guys where we're at with the floor so if you do want to see that stick around and we'll see that right now all right, guys, so back at the office, we did get all of our shipping out. Kathy has headed out to go drop that stuff off to the post office. We're back here. We got Reese, who, <laughs> you running away? Hey, everybody misses you. Everybody misses you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> I'll give him, a, we got some meatball treats we'll give him after we're done here. But yeah, this is the state of the office right now. So we've got the flooring, it's really dirty right now, but we've got the flooring um, done up to this point. And so the computers are back. Um, again, very dusty and dirty because everything, go lay down, Bubba. <laughs> everything is getting tracked in from over here. And so um, we just have this closet left to do. I had to patch some, uh, like a hole there, and we're gonna have to sand all this flooring down, which, I think I mentioned that's kind of been one of the, the big time consuming parts that, and then also floating the big room. We have like a high spot here. So I floated it either way to try to minimize that. There's still a high spot there, but it, it's a lot better than it was. Um, so yeah, now I'm just down to sanding and I'm, this is why I'm sanding. You can kind of see these chunks of drywall that, I mean, 
they're just there. <laughs> and the OSB is all rough and, and this uh, vinyl flooring, if there's any kind of um, thing underneath, it will actually show over time, it'll kind of work its way and be like a bump in the floor. I think there's one spot downstairs that that's happened to. Now you can go through and cut a piece out, but it's it's not as good as just having it in place. So, but yeah, I had to cut under these door jams so that we could slide the boards up underneath, remove the door, all that I had to, this hole is like an access here. Um, and I had to remove the, the cover that was there um, so that I can get the trim off and all that. So I think today um, I should be able to get the rest of the flooring complete. So I, I'm gonna work on sanding, which is gonna take a little bit of time. Luckily, I have this sanding rig here. I have, when I was uh, doing woodworking, I, this is a HEPA vacuum. So um, it actually, it, the dust collection on it is really, really good and um, we're not having to worry about a lot of uh, like putting plastic up and stuff like that. So um, very fortunate that I have that. And yeah, this whole mess right here is all the stuff that was basically in the closet. And once the closet's done, we're really gonna go through all this stuff and only put what really needs to be in there. You know, the closet has become just a, a spot where everything goes, as I'm sure many of you can relate with or understand. Um, we're probably gonna keep that to strictly business stuff. But that is the state of the office currently. Um, I do still have to do the stairs of the floor. I got some holes in the, the wall that I'm gonna patch. This is where a baby gate used to go and uh, just got over time, f <laughs> broke off. <laughs> Luckily our kids were old enough and we didn't need a new baby gate, but we just haven't fixed that kind of stuff. Um, got some holes in the wall over here. So we'll take care of all that kind of stuff um, at the same time. So yeah, like I said, that's where the office is now currently. But um, once the closet is done, I can get the trim back in, get that organized. Then we'll be back in at least more of a working order. This is kind of where Kathy has been doing the majority of the work lately, um, photographing shoes. We just did shipping here. Um, and then obviously her computer is working, which the desk is a lot cleaner and more organized. I am getting some stuff to do, like wire management and then some Velcro that I'm gonna tie it all up, get those surge protectors up and underneath. So it should look a lot cleaner over there and, um, and just make us work a little bit more efficient, I think. But yeah, in case you wanted to know, that's where the office is currently. And hopefully I can get to work on this floor and get it done today. And then after that, the stairs is the last of the flooring in the whole house. Um, but we should be back to uh, normal, I guess. <laughs> normal, air quote. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all of the amazing support. We do appreciate you guys. And we appreciate you guys coming back after we've taken such a long break from videos. That really does mean a lot. Thanks again. And we will see you guys next time.